YouTubers, I'm back. Uh, this is another episode from How To Heaven and I want to talk about a deal that I found. And one of the things that I believe in is that opportunity may not knock more than once, but there's a lot of opportunity. So what I mean by that is you might miss one deal, but you'll find another. So I wanna go over one of the deals that I found. I'm gonna tell you all about my deal. It's right there, that red toolbox that I've named Lowell. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna tell you the story of Lowell. And in the end of this video, I'm gonna let you know what I paid for Lowell. I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet. I uh, answered a Craigslist ad for a battery charger and got to talking with the uh, person. And that's always a good idea because you never know what kind of gem you're gonna find. And so I'm talking with this person uh, about the battery charger, asked him if he had anything else for sale. And he showed me, he proceeded to show me two entire sheds full of stuff and explained that he is liquidating everything out of there because his parents are old and they don't need the stuff anymore. So he shows me this toolbox and he says to me, hey, are you interested in a toolbox? And I said, I don't know. I go, the toolbox or you know, the, what's inside of it? He goes, everything. He goes, you can have everything. Make me an offer. So I did. He said, after about three seconds, maybe not even three seconds, maybe two seconds, he's like, hmm, okay, deal. And I ran home and got my truck. So uh, I named it Lowell because I found some uh, tools in there and they had the name Lowell. So in honor of the person who I think owned the box or at some point owned this toolbox, meet Lowell. And uh, Lowell came with keys. <clears throat> There's some other keys on there for another toolbox, but I got a key for the top toolbox, the bottom toolbox, and the little locker. Now. Everything you see and I'm gonna show you was included in this deal with the exception of this magnet. Um, so what happened was he showed me this toolbox, which was not even opened. It was kind of propped a little bit and there was one drawer and I'll show you. So there was this drawer like this and I uh, said, well, what's in it? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, you can have everything. So I cracked it open about that far and I said, all right, and I made him an offer, like I said. So, let's see what I got. And it's made by a company called Vulcan, and after a little research, I found out that they're an old American company that eventually got bought up by Snap-on, and they had a tool truck back in the 80s, 70s, 60s, I don't know. And um, just like Snap-on, they'd go around and they'd sell. So, pretty much everything in here is made in the United States except for, I think, something I found that was made in Taiwan. One tool. So, what do we have? A Matco calendar from 1989. So, about 30 years ago is when that calendar got stuck on this box. And here's a glimpse of everything that's in here. Mac tools, just randomly take something here. Craftsman. Let's take this one over here. Uh, don't even know what that is. It's pretty shiny. Oh, that's just a pipe. <laughs> Thought it was a tool. Um, Snap-on. So there's a lot of Snap-on. I mean, Snap-on, Snap-on, Snap-on. You just pull things out, Snap-on. Something over here, uh, what is that? Mac tools. Um, over here, this snap on, snap on, snap on. So all of this stuff was included. And you got more stuff. Another snap on, probably another Mac tools. Yep, Mac tools. That's a snap on. Next drawer, more stuff. Not even sure what some of this stuff is. It's just like a miscellaneous drawer. A pickle forks, a lot of uh, chisels, some brass. Come on over here, snap on, snap on. Oh, and then there's a Billings, which is another uh, American brand name. And this is snap on. Dig down here, pull this one out, snap on. So, you know, tons and tons, that's Craftsman. 
And what is this one? Kind of an odd looking design. Snap-on, wow. Who would have guessed? Here we go. Uh, more tools, this is just miscellaneous screwdrivers. Drill bits, brass, brass. Um, what is that? That is ta Tap Boy from Chicago, American made. So here we've got Proto and I don't know what that, I think that's Snap-on, but I'm not gonna open it. It just takes too much time. Uh, American made dies, metric and American. Open this up, Snap-on, 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 Snap-on. These are actually Snap-on and you can see some of the uh, letters and they're guaranteed forever. So I'm gonna call the Snap-on man and say, hey, these screwdrivers disintegrated and see if they'll warranty them. They've got part numbers and stuff on them, so he, they ought to. Here we go. It's a gigantic, long, snap-on, half-inch, half-inch, half-inch. And um, go down to this one. And we got Blue Point, Chicago Pneumatic, CP, CP. What is this? This is a three-quarter inch, gigantic, snap-on. And here's the handle for that thing. And what else? More tools. More snap-on, more snap-on. Here's a Billings. He modified this one and of course Billings. Um, these are ratcheting and uh, these are old. And that's a Proto. And that one is a snap-on. Next drawer. Craftsman, Craftsman, Snap-on, Billings. Wow. Indestro, Super USA. Snap-on. So my point is with this video is to show you that there are deals out there. You got crow's feet. I mean, there is so much stuff in here. I haven't even taken inventory yet. Looks like his junk drawer with some checkers and electrical things. Um, this is a transducer pressure, uh, probably oil pressure sender. Here we go. This looks like that tool you take off the weights on a tire and it's PDO and it's called a weight tool. What do you know? What's this little baby wrench? Snap on. Wow. You name it, this guy had it. So much stuff. So much stuff. Craftsman, um, Blue Point, Miller, all American made, Mac, uh, Watts Co. What is that? Hex wrench kit, okay. I think that's a battery acid tester, if I'm not mistaken. Specific gravity. Yep, sure is, TRW. Oh boy, Mac, 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 Craftsman. Snap on, snap on, snap on. Um, some of these are missing the uh, drawer guides and uh, the little clips like this one is. And believe it or not, I went on to eBay and there's a guy that sells the clips. So I ordered a couple. This was mine, I just bought that and put that in there. It's a rotary cutter, kind of a spot weld cutter. Um, but all these other tools were there. And uh, tons and tons of tools. I mean, this thing is full of tools. A Weller soldering iron, made in the USA. Some Ace super dies, taps and dies, made in the USA. Honing stones couple of handles, a military style pouch. What's in here? Jacobson Company. Allen's. I guess Allen's at one point were kind of special tools. Now they're just run of the mill. This is a all power piston groove cleaner. Uh, let's see, helicoil kits, all kinds of stuff. So, he also threw in this box, craftsman box, 
When he said everything that's on the toolbox, he meant everything. Here's another nice uh, proto. And it's a ratcheting wrench. And here's yet another one. And this is another proto. There's Mac tools. I mean, you name it, this thing is full of it. So all of this stuff was included. And let's see what's in here. So we've got like swivel impacts and I'm looking for the, the brand name on these. And I think, yep, I think they're snap-on. It's kind of hard to see because the writing, these are uh, black and not polished. But um, anyway, timing light, uh, radiator pressure tester, a Mac pressure tester. Uh, this one's for checking, it's a blue point for the alternator current tester. And this one is a blue point starter current tester. Boy, this door just keeps uh, closing. Anyway, um, looks like I've got, uh, these are actually not Harbor Freight, they're snap-on. And those are Mac tools back there. Another compression tester, looks like some I don't even know what brand name these are, but but like I said, I have yet to find one piece of anything that's made in China. Closest thing was there was something made in Taiwan, and here's an old voltmeter. So the uh, point of this video is to tell you guys that there are deals out there. You just got to keep looking for them, and uh, you'll see every once in a while there are like unbelievably crazy deals. So what did I pay for this toolbox? Comment if you could as to how much you think these tools are worth. And I will tell you right now that I've got everything that you see here for $200. That's right, $200. And I think that is quite a deal but there are deals out there and um, you know sometimes they they pop up and sometimes you kind of have to um, you know dig a little in this case you know when I started making small talk with uh, a person that was selling this stuff I just started to find out you know more and more information as to why he's selling and what he's selling and you know and he was not even uh, from Arizona he came down specifically to kind of um, take care of some of these loose ends so $200 all-american made toolbox with all-american tools so good luck in your treasure hunting and I am sure if you're persistent you'll find some treasures so Please subscribe, like, comment, share, ring that bell and uh, the notification bell. And check out my new Instagram. It's uh, how, the number two, heaven, all is one word. Just like uh, my YouTube channel, how to heaven, all one word. Thanks for watching and uh, there'll be more videos to come. Trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I think I need 153 now. So I'm getting there, inching my way after four years of hard work. So thanks for watching. Take it easy. Hey everybody. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Hey everybody. Scratch that. Start.